Now here's what went down at the latest round of Plan Pro Circuit, round four. Welcome to CPC Round 4. Today we'll be hosting Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Mario Kart 8 and Mortal Kombat 10. A lot of competitors have come back to try to get vengeance for the last time that they got destroyed, especially with regards to Tekken. And I am actually looking forward to seeing the kind of hype that it's going to bring. I know myself, I'm going to be entering Mario Kart and I'm planning to bring my own hype for that because I'm going to win it. Thanks to all our sponsors for supporting what we're trying to build here and I thank all our competitors for coming out and supporting as well and coming to show their skill. My name is Saren Wilson. I am the founder of Saren's Candy. I make video game themed accessories, novelty keychains and jewelry. I also make personalized novelty keychains and jewelry. You can hit me up at sarenscandy.com or sarenscandy at facebook.com. My name is Rachel Brown, also known as Rachel B, and I'm representing Fighters Allegiance in Mario Kart 8. Many persons believe that Mario Kart 8 is based on luck. There's also some amount of a lot of skill required to play this game because you could be in first place, you could have gotten a banana for example. Normally when persons are reaching closer to another item they release the banana. Strategically you're supposed to keep that banana just in case because you know how the game is and you might randomly get a coin. Or if you get red shells you know that you send off a red shell, you hold on to the others if it's three you got and you time it so you know the first one hits off the person's item and then you send the second one to hit the person themselves and you pass them or if you get green shells you need to be able to estimate how far the person is and the trajectory and the time it would take for the shell to hit the person and a lot more things even um, if, in, if you're in first place you have the stone box that can repel blue shells you keep that so even if somebody sends off a red shell after you you probably hold it because if you get back into first place, you'd use it. But if you still don't believe that Mario Kart is based off skill and more off luck, just remove the items and just play. And that would, that would show you if you can take the corner as well, if you can stunt, um, how well you know you can take a draft off somebody. So in that sense, when you remove the items, it's less um, based on luck and more on skill. Hey, it's Dom Dumbra. My name is Dom Dumbra and I play video games and I play Mario Kart 8 because I'm very good at it. I just chose it because I've had the game for the longest while and I just feel that I can really, really own people in it. Not this, not dissing anybody in here, but they look like scrubs. Hi, my name is Justin McCulloch and I'm here to play Tekken Tag Tournament 2. The reason I'm here is to not only have fun, but actually try to win first place and I'm feeling pretty confident in myself. A little nervous, but pretty confident. I am Kill Machine. I am Jamaica's best. I, uh, I won at last time at CPC round three, and I'm here to maintain my title. It was a very good showing for us at CPC round three. We, we came second and third in Street Fighter, Ultra Street Fighter. Congrats to Saduke for winning Street, Ultra Street Fighter. Um, we came fourth and fifth in MKX, and fifth in Tekken. Tag two. Um, we're looking forward to MKX this round, the round back, CPC round four. Uh, we put in more training for the MKX and we expect so, a better result this time around. Uh, we also have Fabian entering for Tekken Tag two again. Unfortunately, we don't have anybody for the Mario Kart racer, but we're, we're, we're expecting a good showing for Tekken Tag and MKX. It's really a run back because round three, we it was, I came third at CPC and now I'm back again 
you know, supporting the scene and I'm coming back stronger. Hopefully to take this one. And, um, you know, what has been happening for the past few weeks between round three and round four, CGE, our clan, well, our practice regiment is that we get a lot of matchups between each other. We have some, a lot of character diversity. So we, what we do is that we run a lot of games with each other. Uh, we host a tournament in Mando on the 4th of July and that was, we had a good turnout and um, you know, today we have a couple members, I have myself, I have uh, CGE Enoch and White Knight and CGE uh, Zion. Also we participated in Tekken as well and our member came that CGE Jabog, he came second. So he's back again with vengeance, hopefully to take this one. I'm here today to play Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8. Um, it's a game that I've been playing since 64. I know that it's been around before then, but I started playing in 64. I have a good grasp of the game, you know, since I've been playing it that long. Um, I'm comfortable with the mechanics of the game. Now, a lot of people feel that Mario Kart isn't a game that's, you know, based off skill. And I mean, fine, in the previous iterations of the game, while there is a certain skill um, that you need, a level of skill that you need to play the game, there are a lot of factors that could be manipulated, like staying behind so that you could get um, higher quality items, you know, and then you, you do that in last, um, the last lap, and then, you know, you just jet to first place. However, they changed that um, mechanic in this game. Now, for the first time, a Mario Kart game has been, like, it's much more about skill now than it was before because even if you're at the, the very last place, the game will give you a few items sometimes but you can still get stuff like green shells or banana or even a coin. So it's really more skill based now. You have to know how to handle and uh, manage your items. You have to know how to drive the courses, you know, stuff like that, how, what to keep, what not to keep, how to basically get around someone who's in first place or you know stuff like that so it's a lot more skill based than the previous mario kart titles just played a match against um Dwayne, that's his name um in tekken really and truly <laughs> i'd love to explain why the match takes so long but i can't really understand him, him played well but you know, according to how he played, I should be able to overwhelm him because you know I am the Tekken Grandmaster. But the fight going a little bit longer than it should, and you know, he get a couple rounds here and there, and a couple man there cheering and the thing, but you know, eventually he win. He um, kind of play linear, you know, he punch in a sidestep much, so I use that to my advantage, you know, I start using the sidestep. I think he's a good player, but he's not very advanced, so. In the end, when you're not an advanced player playing against a Tekken Grandmaster, as you know, you're going to lose. And him lose. I'm going to have to explain no more. My name is Shamar Nash, aka Stabby. I represent Doxa. And today I'm here to win Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart is actually the first game I've ever owned. So coming through every version of Mario Kart I've played, and I find this to be the most technically sound version of the game. And part of the reason why I'm here today is because I've played it so much and I've honed my skills in it. I'll be considered a, a fairly good player overall, like I play online a lot and compared to probably very pro players overseas, I think I do very well. Um, here my style is kind of, I don't like to waste all my items and so on, I focus more on the driving because I figure if I can beat you with just driving then I don't have to waste my items and then end up using something else that I'm not good at. Um, out of the field here today I think I have a I have a pretty good shot to win. So I'm not uh, another clan pro circuit tournament, as you know. Um, one of the stars here, you know, one of the people who I expected to do very well. Anyway, my plans right here is to really um, take over the tournament by beating Jabox and also Kill Machine. Well, I won my first match against Kill Machine um, not too long ago. It was very hard, and um, you guys will see the, the footage. But definitely, my how I plan to go forward in the tournament is by using a lot of basic 
basic play. Not a lot of high level strategy or anything like that. Just going back to the roots of the game itself. And um, hopefully that will allow me a little advantage because I'm very, very adept in the roots of the game itself. So that's my strategy going forward and I hope for the best. Well, the reason why um, I was able to beat Andrew still, I mean Damien still, is because um, I don't think him really understand the Johnny Cage matchup too much. So I just overpowered him and you know put on the pressure. I lost both my matches and I am going to explain to you why I lost both my matches. First of all, I had to play two very strong players. One was very defensive and the next one was very offensive. So I, I had to adjust to both both of the mismatches in like the offense and the defense aspect. Um, the first match was pretty okay. I thought the guy was lucky, but the second match, because of the first match rolling over and I had to play full defense, it kind of threw me off. But both competitors were really strong. Yeah, I just actually just lost my Mario Kart 8 match, not because I would perform poorly, but because the matches that were being randomly selected, all DLC, every single, like majority of them. And the ones that weren't DLC that I actually practiced for, I did really well in that. But the ones that I can't afford because I'm kind of poor, is that's the one that I did horribly in. Alright, first round's done. And like I said, I dominated it. And I can tell you how I did it, right? A lot of people look at Mario Kart and yeah, it was originally a party game, right? And you think that you can't be competitive with it. Smash won before people decide that they're gonna take it seriously was a party game just like this right it does take skill to be able to do some of the things that you are capable of in the game that people don't know about I'm lapping people and going miles ahead and dodging things and and doing all kinds of stuff like that and conquering them because I know the tracks I know what I'm supposed to do where I'm supposed to do it if you treat it like a, like a driving game and a, a competitive game it can be that right other people don't have to take it seriously but I want to win so My name is Exian from CGE and I just gave Andrew Pang from Fighters Allegiance a perfect with um, Sonya Blade. Based on the match and how Andrew received the flawless victory, um, he's not used to, as far as I see, he's not used to Sonya mix-ups and the, the loophole that she has. So I used that to my advantage and he kept on low poking so I down one and then I just keep on with the loopholes and um, he break a few times but he, he kept himself open so he just gave me a chance to rush in and then just execute all um, my loopholes on him and then that's how he ended out in the flawless victory because he, he, he was leaving himself wide open for Sonya Blade and, his, and, and, and the pressure in that she has. So that's what led to his flawless victory but he's a great player. You know, I played before and I, I lost against him, but this time I got him back real good. Really and truly, I never knew it was a perfect. If I didn't know it was a perfect, I'd have stopped it. First thing. Second thing, it's a rivalry coming from the last CPC, from round three. I mean, I came out. But the difference between now and round three is whether I use Scorpion. Scorpion, I'm a baby, I'm a go to player. And whenever they use Scorpion, they use somebody else. Somebody asked me if. But do it intentionally for give her the fight and no, you know. I use Kota Khan now and we I work with him, so try to use him and him never really work out well. But never really know the matchup that good because Sonia is a really good mix-up character and I'm gonna play a lot of Sonia so kinda have my fair look. I could have gone for Scorpion and ass, but I'm too prideful and so I'm gonna kill him with Kota Khan. I never kill him. I'm gonna get a perfect. So I'm gonna say next time I play Martel, you're dead. My name is Billy Clark, um, I'm here today, um, I'm a bit late, well now, very late, uh, I came to enter but I'm unable to being late, um, but if I was here I definitely know that I could definitely take up some body counts and see how far I'll reach, but I mean, only time can tell for the next time. Um, also too, I'm a person that keeps tournaments, um, I'm hosting a tournament on August 30th at Fiction Jamaica. Um, you can check me out on Instagram at Z-E-E-B-I-L-L-Y -L -L or on Facebook at Billy Clark um, and definitely see, see what's happening, you know. The gaming industry is now picking up a lot so I'm also here to support it. I 
I just played my second match. I just got knocked into losers bracket. Um, I think where I went wrong is that I didn't just cancel properly like I practiced, and some of I was trying to sabotage some of my um, fellow players, and that led to my downfall. I dropped items when I know I shouldn't have sent back shells when I shouldn't have. I should have kept it. Should have kept forward. Should have kept looking behind me, checking behind me whether or not my opponent was throwing items. But going to try again, come out to losers and try and win this. Right now, I'm basically I'm already in grand finals. Um, we played a bunch of races. At the beginning, it was kind of difficult for me uh, to get accustomed to um, the controllers or a bunch of things, you know. But eventually, as the races progressed, I managed to come out of each of the races with at the top two, which would keep me in winners. Um, the last race that I, the last cup series of cups that I just played um, put me and the other competitor, another teammate of mine in Grand Finals. Uh, right now, we're now waiting on the winners of the Losers Finals to make up the last set of racers for the Grand Finals. It has been a bit challenging for me because although I really love Mario Kart and I do play it often, I haven't really played it at a competitive level and because of this competition it has really forced me to really bring my A game and to really think more and drive better because there's, this game is very unforgiving. Um, based on the competition I've seen though, uh, I think that I could take the tournament. Um, the only person that I'm really seeing standing in my way is my teammate um, FAJ Taugash. So um, I think that if I really, really try hard and you know, not make any mistakes, that I could definitely take this tournament. I just beat Angel Pang in the winners' finals, and now I'm moving on to grand finals. I came second last CPC, and uh, this time I'm trying not to make the same mistakes I did last time, such as um, pressing buttons like when I shouldn't, and um, getting too nervous. I'm going to try and um, get some composure this time and take it. Right now I'm in Grand Finals for the Mortal Kombat X Tournament at CPC, fourth round. Um, well, I can say there's a lot of good players from all over the island. Trelawney, Mobe, Mandeville, they all come across and you know they all perform using the characters to the best of their abilities. But um, I guess my flame fist look and was too much for them. Um, but they're really good players and I'm still representing for most detail because we won the last tournament. Um, I said that Eugene right. couldn't be here but right, well, I'm here representing finals. for the team. And there you have it, a very quick end to a very easy victory, right? I said this is going to happen and I would say that despite my confidence, it wouldn't really matter anyway because you know some people like to talk about karma and that you two boast about what you're doing but if you're good at something like most people are in the games that they play, you, you're going to know that you're going to win. I won this time, last time I came second. Uh, I'm really, you know, pleased with myself right now. Uh, got over my, my demons, I guess. Yes, well, um, the competition for the MKX tournament was very heavy. A lot of good players. Um, big up White Knight, I know he's kind of salty right now because I beat him. <laughs> All right, um, well, it just heavy grind. Most of the tail, represent most of the tail, you know. And um, we represent for Eugene well because Eugene lost a lot. Um, well, he won, but he didn't come up to, come to this tournament. And 
finally won my first Mortal Kombat tournament, well, my first tournament ever, and it's a good feeling. And you know, big up Mousy Tail and Charmander, good luck. <laughs>